Hello, my name's Andrew, and today we're talking about how to install directions apps like Waze on the Mudita Compact. So if you wanna know how to sideload apps, I have a whole separate video of step-by-step -step instructions for the Mudita Compact. But essentially the way it works is that you use a computer connection and then you set up a few options on the phone and then it allows you to install this app called Aurora Store, which you can see right there. And once you have Aurora Store, you can essentially install any apps that you need, but it's kind of the best of both worlds for minimalism because once you delete Aurora Store, you have to go back to the computer to install it if you wanna install any more apps. So there's no potential for like being out on a walk and impulsively trying to install Facebook. And anyways, a lot of these apps don't really work well because of the slow e-ink screen and also because some of them require Google services, et cetera, and they just don't work. But anyways, a lot of people have been asking me about the GPS and the Medita Compact, and I haven't really been able to answer it because I just had a demo version that didn't work with cellular data, but now I have one that works with my Verizon plan, so I've been experimenting and seeing how it works, and the built-in app is still under development, so you can see that the app doesn't give you live updates, so it's not that helpful for turn-by-turn -turn navigation. You kind of have to download the maps beforehand, you know, like an old Yahoo Maps sort of setup. However, I discovered today that you can install third-party GPS tools like Waze, and here's what it looks like. It works, and um, when I first opened it, it kind of like gave me this message about there was no like cellular data or something like that. Um, and then it like quit out, but then when I went back in, it had found the signal and it started to work. I was just like, put in you know, the local grocery store and it worked fine. You can see that it doesn't update quite as fast as something like the Light Phone 3, you know, where it's, I don't know, 120 frames per second or something like that. But it was definitely a lot faster than Light Phone, which was basically unusable because it would like refresh one frame and then flash. And so like the only way I ever used it was just with the text and audio based directions where it's reading them out and it worked fine. But there are some situations when you're navigating, you know, like in a city or it's really complex on the highway, there are like multiple exits where it's really helpful to be able to see the map so it's probably going to be really useful for when i start traveling for van life and yeah overall from like spotify to notion it's just so nice to be able to install the apps that i need on the compact but then also being able to like hardcore shut off my ability to install any other apps just by getting rid of aurora store when i'm happy with what i have and i guess the funny thing about owning the compact the past few months is that it kind of feels like a spiritual successor to the light phone too like if you'd show me this, you know, from Light Phone, and then you'd show me this, I would have thought that it was like the same company. And then if you'd show me the Light Phone 3, I would have thought that it was designed by like teenage engineering or something, which isn't a bad thing whatsoever. It looks awesome, but I don't know. I like the, you know, simple, friendly design. I'm looking forward to many more years of distraction-free productivity with it. But anyways, that's Maps on the Media Compact. And if you'd like to support the channel, you can shop the referral links down below. Watch my Light Phone 3 versus Medita Compact video to learn more, or check out my e-ink playlist for more minimalist device reviews. Finally, if you have a question about using maps on the Mudita Compact or about minimalist tech in general, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Peace.